This video will outline one approach to insert and fill down rows of data simultaneously. Our example contains missing rows of imported data in a financial model. This is partly based on an earlier video demonstrating a macro to insert multiple rows. First, I will disable certain Excel properties to improve the macro's performance and efficiency. And we'll declare the row count variable. Next, the input message box to prompt the user to specify the number of rows to insert. An error handle will be placed to handle erroneous inputs like zero or negative values, which we clearly want the macro to avoid performing. This segment of code will insert multiple rows based on the values stipulated in the input box in the above. This part of the code will then allow the macro to fill down the blank rows, which we were previously inserted in the above code. The code isn't complete. We can now re-enable our Excel properties back to the default settings. Let's test the macro by inserting two rows, which are the two rows of missing Imported data between rows 16 and 17. We will repeat the macro on the missing cost of goods sold data. As we can see, the macro is correctly inserting and filling down missing data, which ensures our imported data is complete for our financial model. 